Hi, yeah. Okay, so um, I don't have any chickens. I don't have any. Oh, sorry, I don't know this. Let's start that again. I don't have any new chickens. Um, uh, so I went there all really excited to get my new chickens and um, they've generally speaking they've got hybrids there they they haven't really got any pure breeds there and um, with hybrids you kind of need to see the eggs that they're laying in order to know what eggs they're gonna get and they aren't bright colors not that they're like fluorescent colors anyway but they're pastel shades and the egg layers they had there that were meant to be blue egg layers were um, 16 weeks old so it was going to be about another six to eight weeks before they were laying and there was a 70 to 80 percent chance that they were going to um, that they were going to have a blue egg so they may not have even had a blue egg there was no way of showing me what they were laying now so I hummed and I hard there were a couple of pretty ones in there I have to say and they had loads of different other um, hybrids there as well so I just spent some time kind of hanging out and looking at all of them and then I found myself falling for some that weren't color eggs they were just the brown eggs and I was thinking how beautiful they were and how I'd love to have one of them in my flock and my girls are, are aging so um, uh, so these are new these ones were looking young and vibrant and beautiful and I I ended up really 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 struggling really really struggling because I wanted to put two of them in my basket and take them home for no other reason than they looked pretty not because they were blue, laying blue eggs and I went specifically to get blue egg layers so I'm at quandary now because as much as I do want blue egg layers and I do I do don't get me wrong I wanted I want I would love a colorful um, basket there's blue there's green there's white there's the chestnut colors still missing from my basket if that's what I want and that was what I wanted I had convinced myself that, that was what I wanted and it would look absolutely beautiful and yes it is what I want it really is what I want um, but this is the first place that I have come to to look at chickens and it's a lovely setup it's the most beautiful setup I mean pristine gorgeous manicured does not look anything like my place <laughs> which is just like animal territory through and through um, this looks lovely it is a beautiful place um, the hens all look lovely they they're clearly adored um, I think I need to be sensible. I think I need to go and see someone else. There is one other place that has um, eggs, uh, has chickens for sale that includes blue la egg layers. So I think I need to go and see them. I need to go and see how they set up as well. I would like to go and see a couple of different places and how they manage their egg, their, um, their chickens and just see if I can pick up any tips as well. So I've not got my new hens that I was really hoping for today. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think I've, I've learned a lesson um, and I've been very self-controlled, <laughs> very self-controlled. Oh, there were two or three birds in there that I was very, very tempted by. Um, but it has been so nice to get out of the house and to go somewhere. Literally, I am at a garage right now because I, my battery phone was dying on me in the, uh, at, at the chicken place. I was down to 1%. I came running out of the, to the van to put it on charge only to find that of course there's no charger in my fan because somehow 
all the chargers have migrated to somebody else's van or into the house or wherever but I my emergency pack here doesn't seem to have one in it so it's gone walkies um, so I had no way of charging my phone I was in the middle of nowhere it was like a rabbit run to get there so I thought my god I'm gonna be completely and utterly lost getting out of here so I got some rough directions and then made a guess at one road and then got to a junction with a signpost and I was okay uh, whilst I was doing all that of course I had forgotten that my petrol light had come on on the way over there because I was in a rush to go over there I decided that I would get petrol on the way back so I was kind of potentially could get completely lost in amongst all these roads and run out of petrol and have no phone to phone anybody but that didn't happen I found myself at a garage I filled up with petrol I bought myself a new charger the phone is on charge right now um, I roughly know my way back from here anyway so that isn't a bad thing but it's really weird I was in the garage and I got that smell of just being somewhere other than at home I am always at home I am in my van picking up dogs or I'm at home or I'm in my garden but that's still home and then take the dogs out to places that I know so I know the smell of there and then it's back in the van again and back dropping the dogs home and I don't go out I really don't go out and I was very aware I was in that garage and I paid and I was on my way out it sold me the wrong charger so I had to go back in and swap the charger for a new one and um, I just I just took in a breath as I did and I thought God, this smells like those service stations or the airport or something like that one of those places of when I was going somewhere exciting that I would drop in on the way because I'd need to get some food or I'd need to go to the toilet or I'd need to top up with petrol but it was that excited that smell that that just triggered those excited to be out and going somewhere memories in my head now I don't want to go home now I want to go somewhere now I want to do something there's no one to do anything with there's nowhere to go <laughs> everybody's still at work um, Brian bless him is doing the um, afternoon drop-off so I am in no rush to go back to the campus but I actually haven't got anywhere else to be and um, so I'm kind of here on YouTube with you guys thinking what should I do <laughs> with these couple of hours that are spare that I have that literally I never have and I don't know what to do with what do you guys do when you've got time like that <sighs> I guess I ought to sign off and think about that one so and arrange the next chicken visit I'm gonna go and do which unfortunately I would have gone on to now but the guy is at work he's not home with his chickens so I can't go and see them now um, but hopefully that will happen soon uh, so anyway I'm gonna sign off now and figure out what I'm gonna do with this next couple of ideas please do leave me some ideas in the comments so that if I'm ever stuck in this position again I I can remember what you guys suggested. Thank you. Take care. Speak to you again soon.